Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Today we're talking about the dependence of data modes on the internet. Someone asked in one of the recent videos which data modes are dependent on the internet or are truly off grid. Let's go through some of those and give you the dope on each of those data modes. So, First and foremost, let's start with JS8 Call. JS8 Call has absolutely no dependence on the internet. It's station to station or peer to peer. It's also station to all call or station to many stations. You can broadcast to all stations with it with the all call feature. But none of those features are dependent upon the internet. Again, they're station to station, no internet involved. The only part of JS8 call which is dependent upon the internet is the PSK reporter.info functionality, which allows you to see the map of stations which uh, you heard and which are hearing you. So JS8 call is a truly off grid data mode and it's off grid friendly. The next one is VAR AC. Now you've heard me talk about that one recently on the channel as well. Like JS8 Call, VAR AC is completely independent of the internet. It's station to station or station to broadcast. The only functionality of VAR AC which has some dependence on the internet, like JS8 Call, is the PSK Reporter.info functionality, allowing you to see the stations which have heard you and which you have heard on the maps. Okay, the third and final type of data mode we see on the channel is WinLink. Now, WinLink is a bit complicated because it has three different types of uh, ways, three different ways to send messages to and from your station. Only one of those requires the internet, and I'll explain. The first type is a normal WinLink message, and with a normal WinLink message, you compose the message in your client. That might be Pat WinLink or WinLink Express, what I use on the Microsoft Surface or some other client. Anyway, uh, I digress. So you compose your message, you save it as a WinLink message and store it in your outbox. Then you connect to a remote gateway station, which will send and receive messages to and from your station. The gateway station will connect to a CMS, which is essentially just a cloud server, which stores messages that are in transit. Now the cloud server will send or will forward over the internet your WinLink message to that remote gateway that you're connected to. And the remote gateway will send it over RF to your station. That's a normal WinLink message. And again, it's the only one which requires the internet. Another type of WinLink message is a peer-to-peer -peer message. Peer-to-peer -peer messages are station-to-station, -station, just like FT8, a voice QSO or a CW QSO. You compose your message just like you would if you were sending it to the CMS through a remote gateway. But instead of saving it as a normal WinLink message, you save it as a peer-to-peer -peer message. You set your station up on a specific frequency and you let the person know, made a SCED, so that the other operator knows what frequency to find your radio. The receiving station will connect directly to your station to send and receive messages uh, between you two. You can also connect to the receiving station's station directly and send your messages over to that operator. So this is, again, station to station, and it requires no internet. The third is actually extremely cool. The third are hybrid messages. You can see them in the WinLink connection list as uh, radio-only emails or radio only connections. When you make a radio only connection, it's to a hybrid network. So the hybrid network, uh, depending on how it's configured, has the ability to connect to a CMS, but it also has ability to forward your message over RF to other stations in the hybrid network uh, until it reaches your MPS station. And the MPS is basically like your local mailbox. That's where you're going to collect your messages from. So you compose a message, you save it as a radio-only message. You connect to a radio-only hybrid station, send and receive, and that hybrid station forwards it along until it reaches the MPS of the recipient. The recipient connects to the MPS station like they normally would with, with a normal WinLink message, but 
collects that message directly from his local MPS. Let's call it a mailbox or post office. Yeah. So this also requires absolutely no internet. And hybrid stations are extremely cool because if the internet isn't there, they'll just forward the message along until it reaches the MPS station that you've configured. And again, MPS is just a fancy name for your local post office, your local Winling post office. So that's how it works. Now, there's an only one real situation in Winlink where the internet is required, and actually that's optional. And this is when you're going to update your server list. When you update your server list, you have two choices, do it over the radio or do it over the internet. If you do it over the internet, uh, it takes about a minute, sometimes two, depending on uh, how fast your connection is. If you do it over the radio, it's a big freaking list. It's a big list. So over HF, it's just, uh, it's a pain in the butt over HF, unless you happen to have an extremely good connection, fast connection. It doesn't allow you to download just the stations in your region. It's all or nothing, which is really a bummer. And this might be a feature I'll uh, propose to the Winlink development team. So even though you can update your server list over the internet, you don't have to. It's an option. The radio option isn't the best one, and I wouldn't use it because it just creates unnecessary congestion on the on the air. But it is an option. There is a radio option to update the servers. Anyway, so when people are telling you that any one of these modes is dependent on the internet or uh, you have to use the internet, it's because they have no experience, they haven't used it in practice, or they simply don't know what they're talking about. All right, guys, let's move on.